Today, we're counting down the top 10 deadliest AI weapons in 2025. These systems are already changing how conflicts unfold and how nations calculate risk. Let's dive in. Number 10. Counter Drone Grids You've probably seen footage of a laser zapping a small drone. Militaries now use counter-drone-directed energy systems that combine radar, cameras, and AI to detect and disable swarms. These platforms use high-energy microwaves, or precision lasers, to take down incoming threats. The UK and US have both run public trials. Britain's Dragonfire system and the US's Army DEM Shorad prototypes have demonstrated successful drone intercepts during tests in 2024 and 2025. The next step is networking these grids so they can protect convoys and bases against mass drone attacks. A single AI-directed node can now respond to dozens of drones faster than a human operator. If a low-cost swarm can be stopped by one automated beam, the entire economics of drone warfare begins to shift. Number 9. Dual Role Loiterers these are small drones that act as both scouts and precision weapons. Systems like Aerovironment's Switchblade 300 and 600, Israel's Hero 120, and India's Nagastro 1 combine surveillance optics with loitering munition capability. They can scout ahead, stream live video, and then dive on a target when commanded. Some models even operate in limited autonomy modes, choosing optimal strike points within preset engagement rules. They're cheap, portable, and now standard in several armed forces, including Ukraine, India, and Israel. Their growing use allows small units to carry out precision strikes without calling for artillery or air support. That has flattened command hierarchies and blurred the line between surveillance drone and guided missile. Number 8. AI Cyber EW Fusion this is where cyber attacks meet electronic warfare. Past conflicts showed how electronic warfare can jam GPS or mimic cell towers. But new prototypes integrate jamming, spoofing, and cyber intrusion into one adaptive system. Russia's Lear 3 has been used to disrupt communications, and other test programs are experimenting with AI software that times cyber and radio attacks together. Humans still decide the parameters and targets, but AI handles timing and coordination with far greater precision. The result can be devastating. Blacked out communications, corrupted targeting data, and systems feeding false information. Analysts at NATO's Cooperative Cyber Defense Center and RAND report that combining AI algorithms with EW and cyber operations could dramatically increase the speed and scale of battlefield disruption. Number 7. Undersea Autonomous Strike Systems Autonomous undersea vehicles are quickly becoming the next major shift in naval warfare. Companies like Anduril and programs such as Australia's Ghost Shark XL AUV are building long-endurance underwater drones that can patrol and deliver payloads without human crews. Anduril's Copperhead family, unveiled in 2025, includes surveillance, utility, and munition-capable versions. One of the first private attempts at an un manned undersea strike platform. These vehicles can stay submerged for days, map seafloors, or deliver ordnance while remaining below sonar detection. They're not yet widely deployed, but successful tests have shown fully autonomous navigation and payload integration. For navies, that offers a cheaper and stealthier way to cover vast maritime zones. Number 6. AI Guided Missile Systems Modern missiles are moving beyond fixed flight paths. Machine learning is being added to seekers and guidance suites to improve target recognition, reject decoys, and adapt trajectories during flight. That lets seekers fuse infrared, radar, and scene matching data to keep a lock in cluttered environments and under jamming instead of relying only on GPS or inertial guidance. In practice, AI helps missiles change course to avoid decoys, compensate for weather and sensor noise, and respond to high 
IG evasive maneuvers by predicting an adversary's likely position. This capability is especially important for hypersonic and highly maneuverable threats where decision windows are measured in fractions of a second. Industry is racing to field these algorithms, but real-world limits remain, including onboard computer constraints and the need for rigorous testing to avoid false engagements. Several militaries are beginning to field or test AI-enhanced seekers in limited exercises, and integration with networked sensors makes these weapons more lethal at range. That also raises new safety and legal questions, so developers emphasize robust verification, human oversight, and rigorous live testing before operational release. Defenders are racing to develop better jamming, decoys, and hardening to blunt AI-guided threats, creating an accelerating offense-defense cycle. Number 5. Replicator Drone Army the Pentagon's Replicator Initiative, launched in late 2023, aims to deploy thousands of autonomous drones across air, land, and sea. The goal is to gain an advantage through numbers by using smart, low-cost systems that can overwhelm traditional defenses. In September 2025, Reuters reported that Replicator had missed its original deployment targets due to technical and integration challenges, though Pentagon officials say expansion is still underway. The program has already funded several small UAV and surface drone platforms as part of its early tranches. Even with delays, the goal remains clear. Replace a few expensive platforms with many expendable and intelligent ones. If successful, Replicator could redefine how modern militaries measure strength, shifting from firepower to swarm power. Implementation has proven harder than concept. Engineers cite integration, logistics, and secure communications as major hurdles when scaling from dozens to thousands of systems. The attritable model also raises industrial and supply chain questions, because producing cheap, reliable drones at scale requires new manufacturing and maintenance approaches. Lawmakers and defense analysts are watching closely, since Replicator will shape doctrine, procurement, and rules of engagement for autonomous systems for years to come. Number 4. Shahed Jaran Loiterers These are the low-cost kamikaze drones that have changed the economics of modern warfare. Iran's Shahed series, which Russia uses under the name Jaran 2, are loitering munitions that can fly long distances using basic navigation systems before striking targets with explosive payloads. Russia expanded their use in 2024 and 2025, launching waves of these drones to overwhelm Ukraine's air defenses and deplete interceptor stockpiles. This mass deployment has forced militaries to rethink how they allocate air defense resources and plan deep strike operations. Analysts from CSIS and other defense research groups note that the Shahed's affordability has made it one of the most influential weapons in the current conflict, proving that simple technology used at scale can shift entire strategies. Each drone costs a fraction of a surface-to-air missile, creating an unsustainable cost imbalance for defenders. Variants with upgraded GPS guidance and anti-jamming modules have also appeared, making them more accurate and harder to intercept. Their widespread use has triggered a global race for cheaper, automated countermeasures to restore balance in drone warfare. Number 3. Cargo 2 and Autonomous Attack Drones the Cargo 2 is one of the most cited examples when discussing whether machines can make lethal decisions without direct human input. According to a 2021 United Nations report and research from the Lieber Institute at West Point, Cargo-type loitering attack drones were used in Libya and may have autonomously identified and engaged human targets using onboard sensors. That does not mean all cargo systems operate without oversight. In most cases, 
is operators retain control or approval authority before engagement. Still, the cargo case is widely regarded as one of the first real-world instances showing that fully autonomous targeting is possible. Its use has intensified debates over lethal autonomous weapon systems and their implications for future warfare. Since then, other nations have tested similar loitering drones with advanced vision-based targeting in real-time decision modules. These systems can track multiple moving objects and prioritize targets automatically, edging closer to fire-and-forget autonomy. The technology is advancing faster than international efforts to regulate or restrict it. Number 2. Swarm Intelligence Swarm intelligence refers to drones that coordinate as a collective rather than following a single controller. Each drone in a group communicates with the others, making local decisions based on shared data. This allows them to adapt and reorganize even if some units are destroyed. In conflicts such as the war in Ukraine, small UAV swarms have been used to attack troop positions, supply lines, and radar sites, dramatically reducing the manpower needed for complex missions. Military Military analysts, including those at CSIS, call drone swarms one of the fastest growing warfare developments of the decade. They're harder to defend against because there's no single control center to disable, and the collective AI can adjust tactics in real time. Recent demonstrations by China and the United States have shown swarms coordinating hundreds of drones simultaneously, each capable of dynamic pathfinding and target recognition. Their ability to overwhelm defenses through sheer volume and coordination makes them a major disruptive force multiplier. However, controlling such large networks safely remains a major challenge, as interference or algorithmic errors could cause unintended escalation. Number 1. AI Battle Network the AI Battle Network is the backbone connecting all modern autonomous systems. It integrates the U.S. Department of Defense's JADC2 and Advanced Battle Management concepts, linking satellites, sensors, electronic warfare systems, drones, and missile platforms into one AI-assisted decision network. The system's goal is to reduce the time between detection and strike by allowing machines to share data and coordinate faster than humans can. Current experiments by the Department of the Air Force and the Defense Innovation Unit focus on AI-driven battle management models, microservices, and edge computing that enable near-instant information flow across domains. Analysts at C4 ISRnet describe it as a step toward algorithmic warfare where speed and data fusion determine victory. The same connectivity that makes it powerful also introduces new risks, since a single software failure or cyber attack could ripple through an entire networked force. Some defense experts have compared it to a digital nervous system where every sensor and shooter acts like a neuron. As allied nations develop their own interoperable versions, questions around control and interoperability and AI decision authority are becoming central to global security planning. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.